In this video, I am going to show you how you can make the button and different layers of a slider made with slider revolution responsive on mobile and tablet. And uh, so I have made this slider using the slider revolution plugin uh, with only the desktop view in mind. So I've, I have not done anything to make it uh, uh, responsive on mobile and tablet. So when I am clicking over here inspect element and viewing this slider in uh, mobile view iPhone 6, 7 and 8 it automatically scales down uh, to uh, to be smaller and fit into the mobile view so <coughs> in the mobile view you can see uh, there are uh, some issues with this slider the slider height is too less it is very flat and this text are too small uh, this uh, dots are overlapping the button and these arrows are also overlapping the text so i'll need to fix this so let me also see the tablet view let me see what's in the ipad so the ipad seems kind of fine but i'm also going to show you how you can fix this like but the text is also a bit smaller kind of so i'm going to show you how you can fix that so let me just close this one so uh, so when I ho uh, hover over slider revolution, I can see the name of the slider, slider button responsive. This is the name of the slider. So let me go to the back end of the website, to the dashboard and click over here, slider revolution. I'm going to get back to, uh, what this uh, message means later on this video. Uh, but let me scroll down as I viewed from the front end the name of the slider is slider revolution uh, slider button responsive so this is the slider so let me click over here it's loading the slider so this slider is made of uh, two slides one slide is this one and another slide is this one so both of the slides are quite similar or same kind of and so let me just go back to this page and view the slider so let me go back to the mobile view iphone 6 7 and 8 so i have also already explained the issues before uh, the height is too less the dots are overlapping the button and the arrows are overlapping the text so let me go over here and firstly to make uh, to work on the responsive issues on slider revolution you'll need to turn on uh, the mobile and tablet responsive options on from here so let me hover over here and turn on the tablet and mobile uh, responsive options and just save over here okay while staying in mobile view let me just uh, refresh the slider refresh the page so so now you can see several issues with the slider uh, now the slider height is too much this text is way too small and the button is also way too small uh, everything uh, this text and button is unreadable so this unusable so i'll need to fix it so when you turn these options on it does not automatically solve all the uh, responsive issues on your mobile and tablet what it does it gives you an option to go to the mobile and tablet version and fix the issues uh, separately so it does not automatically does that you will need to manually fix it so i'm going to show you how you can do that so so let's so let's view the first issue so let's see the first issue so let me first go to the mobile version and let me just fix the height of the slider when i click over here and scroll down when i click over here and then then i'll need to click on the layout and then in the mobile version i'll need to just reduce the height let me just make the height give the height six five hundred pixel and save 
let me reload the page over here okay so now the uh, slider height is a bit less i think a little bit more less would be better let me just make it 450 pixels Okay, so let me check right now. Okay, I think I am happy with this height. So, uh, let's go to the next thing. Let's switch that this text and this button. So, I can, after turning the mobile and tablet responsive options on, I can access this text. I can separately fix the issues with this text. So, let me just do one thing, size and position. So for every layer, you need to make sure one thing. After clicking over here, go to size and position and make sure all of these options are turned on. Uh, in intelligent inheriting, resize between devices, responsive offsets and responsive children. Uh, these are all uh, under the responsive behavior option. So make sure that all of these options are turned on. So resize between devices, it will automatically resize between devices because there are uh, different kind of devices responsive offset it will automatically adjust its position when you uh, move to different devices and responsive children is uh, when you have uh, other html codes inside a layer it will automatically fix it and i'm not sure what this does uh, what it does but make sure that it is uh, turned on so for each layer make sure that all of these options under responsive behavior are turned on especially for the button in some cases uh, the problem is that uh, these options are turned off by default so it does not behave uh, in a right way uh, when you switch between uh, different devices so the very first thing you need to make sure that all of these options are turned on for all of the layers okay so let me just fix the issues I think I'm happy with this. Let me just go to style. I'm happy with the font size. So let me view this one. Uh, I think its font size is too uh, less. I think the font size is too less. So it's only 5 pixel. So let me make it 14 pixel. But the line height is too less. So it's like all overlapping each other. So let me make the line height 20 pixel. Okay, the line height is fine right now. Okay, let me just uh, size and position and center align this one. And also center align this text. And let me go to the button. You can see the button, uh, when I go to the button style, its font size is also too less. So let me increase the font size to 20 pixel. 20 pixel is too much I think no 20 pixel is fine no let me just reduce this a bit more 16 pixel and you can see the padding of the button is too less so let me just uh, scroll down below and just lock the padding and let me just give it a 15 pixel let me see what happens um it's too much i guess so let me just unlock it top let me just keep the top paddings to 10 pixels and either size to and let me just keep this to 25 no this is the bottom one 25 okay 25 okay Okay, fine. Now this looks a little bit better. Let me just center align it. Let me scroll back up. Go to size and position at me. Let me just center align this button. Okay, fine. So let me save it and uh, let's view the slider from the front end. Okay, so now you can see uh, this slider is much better. So what I can do, I can just... Uh, move this a little bit below below like this let me just once again center align this 
center align everything okay okay let me view the slider again okay i think it's good enough fine everything looks fine right now uh, another issue you can see that these arrows are like overlapping the text and it is not looking great so i'll also need to fix this slide uh, slide i'll get back to this one uh, so what you can see uh, these arrows are overlapping the text over here to so what i can do i can hide these arrows uh, in mobile view i can keep these arrows in desktop view but hide them in mobile view and only keep the dots in mobile view so this uh, arrows are not uh, like covering up my text so let me just go to the back end and let me click over here and let me just go to arrows and then scroll down and then hide under when i click on this hide under what it does it hides the arrows in tablets and mobiles now let me refresh fine so now it looks much better you can use this dots to navigate navigate throughout the different slides so so i have worked already worked on this slide let me just go to the second slide so uh, you can see this uh, wh what i have to do i have to also have to for this slide i have to manually fix the text the text and the button font size uh, padding etc so another easier way is to like duplicate this slide and change the background you can see this this slide uh, this slide and the other slide all is almost the same uh, the text is the same and the everything is same just the background is different so what i can do i can delete this one let me just delete this one let me go to the slides and delete this slide yes delete slide and i can just duplicate this slide okay fine let me just go back to the desktop version okay so let me just so this is the duplicate second slide which i duplicated and let me just change the background of this slide so let me go to the media library and let me just change the background to this one and then save changes fine so let me just refresh the page okay now you can see that uh, now you can see this issue is fixed on both the both the slides so this is how you fix the mobile version in slider revolution so you can do the same thing for the tablet version when i go to the tablet version let me just switch to the tablet ipad you can see when you turn on the responsive option on tablet uh, it also by default it makes the slide height too much and it reduce the font size of the text too much and the font size of the button too much so what you'll need to do you'll need to go inside over here and fix the slider height reduce the height over here let me just make it uh, 600 pixel and let me just let me what i can do yes right i also for the tablet version i will also need to go into it manually to each slide and uh, fix the responsive issue so font size is too much let me fix it over here style let me make the font size 16 pixels line height 20 pixels and that let me let me increase the font size by 14 pixels yes it's fine now okay let me check the responsive option 
so this is the slider so this one I have already fixed let me also fix the other slide the first slide over here let me go to the first slide okay let me just uh, move this layer let me increase the font size to 14 pixel line height 20 pixel and let me increase the font size of the button to 14 pixel so done this is done so let me check the tablet version again so it is fine right now so this is how we make the changes in uh, tablet version so uh, so this is fine and for other versions like notebook version you can just uh, keep it the way it is you can just keep the auto scale version on notebook so let me just show it to you uh, the ipad pro is kind of kind of like a notebook version so notebook version uh, it is fine the just the way it is automatic uh, responsiveness so i will suggest you not to change anything in the notebook version and this is how you make the different buttons and layers responsive on mobile and tablet in uh, slider revolution uh, so but i have another message for you but i have another import very important message for you so let me click over here let me go to the slider revolution interface and I've, you have seen this message earlier on so let me read this message this message is re, uh, regarding the latest uh, update of WordPress 5.5 and they are suggesting that I update my slider revolution to uh, to 3.0 what they are mainly they are suggesting that I update my slider revolution to the latest version so a big problem is with slider revolution that most of the theme forest theme that you buy from even to marketplace or something most of the th themes from theme forest comes with slider revolution but none of their license is activated so what it means that you will not be able to update their plugin you'll not be you'll not get any updates if the license is of slider revolution is not activated so that's the main issue so let me just uh, so what happens when you do not get any updates and new features for slider revolution if you do not activate the license if you do not uh, activate the license you do not get any updates and what happens is that slowly with time uh, your slider revolution plugin will get uh, will become outdated with the latest WordPress versions and latest PHP versions and at one point this your slider revolution plugin might break the website if you do not update it to the latest version so that's the risk so if you have a website like with a, a large uh, traffic like around like 20 to 30 thousand visitors and your slider revolution plugin is outdated at one point of time it might break your website if you do not update it so what will happen is uh, suddenly your website will break due to slider revolution and your users will have a bad experience and this might also help uh, uh, this might also be ha have a negative effect on your Google ranking so I'll suggest that you update your uh, slider revolution plugin regularly so so let me show you my slider revolution plugin over here let me go over here let me scroll down to the bottom you can see that my slider revolution plugin is already registered i have already registered my slider revolution plugin and i have already have the access to 200 plus slider templates and I can easily update my slider revolution plugin from if I go over here let me go to the plugins page and here is my slider revolution let me just quickly update it now
see so this is how easy it is to update slider revolution if your license slider revolution license is activated so to get the slider revolution plugin you can visit this link dasvirwebsolutions.com and write slider hyphen revolution click enter press enter and this will just redirect you to the slider revolution plugin page from here you uh, buy the regular license 29 dollar after you uh, get the license after you get the license you simply scroll down and put the license key in this field and register the code so that's how easy it is so i have another website over here in this uh, website i did not activate the license key see i did not activate the license key let me scroll down so see this is not registered so what i i, I do not get uh, any access to 200 templates and different features of slide revolution and also i am not able to update the slide revolution plugin so this is a huge risk for my website if i do not have my license activated so i am leaving the link uh, to slide uh, link where you can buy slider revolution license down in the description below uh, so let me just uh, do let me see if there is anything left okay so this is how you update so also it suggests that if you have other themes and plugins uh, which you are not updating on your website you do them uh, you just buy their license and make sure that you are able to update them to their latest version if you don't update your themes and plugins regularly uh, you are uh, you have your site at risk of being hacked uh, by other like other things so so make sure that uh, all of your all of the themes and plugins on your websites have their license activated another thing i'm uh, i'd like to show that about images so you can see the background images i've used so to for images i usually uh, use free images from pixabay.com you can go over here pixabay.com so you can see there are some beautiful images which i can download and use from uh, as background images uh, for slides okay so but the biggest problem with this uh, pixabay or free stock image websites are that they are not professional let me show what that means so let me just show you a premium stock image website once again uh, type in tazvirwebsolutions.com and write getty hyphen images so this is a premium stock image website getty images so what happens over here like let me just show you let you suppose you want a picture of a man professional image so you are so these are the kind of images you're getting for a man when you type in man and if you type in over here man and press enter so you'll get a lot of professional images for men see these images are specially made for website design and other kind of design professional images see all of them are professional images and some of them uh, you can remove their background very easily so these are the professional images but what kind of images you are getting over here in free stock images is that uh, they are kind of they are kind of artistic and not professional so because they are from free contributors so uh, so that's the problem with free uh, stock image websites and for premium stock images like get images you are going to get uh, like very professional uh, images and let me show you another example let me type in woman and you will get we are going to get lot of high resolution images for women of different ages skin colors and different etc but over here if i type in 
on the pre stock image website woman i'll not get professional images i'll get i'll just get, keep getting random images of women some of them are adult images so i'll have to uh, so that's the kind of thing so so i recommend that you like for images i'll recommend that you use uh, professional or premium stock image website like uh, like get images so i'm also leaving the uh, link to the get images down in the description below so uh, if you found this video helpful if this video helped you out then please like my video and subscribe to my channel uh, for to to get more update and updates to more uh, videos like this so thank you for watching this thank you for your time